a.m. and it's time for Nanny Bubby. So happy to welcome you into my kitchen. Well, I've got a lot of things happening right now. Here, that light is on me. I have a light on right now um, because we are shooting the Channel 8 segment live right now. Whoop, that's way too low, huh? Trying to get the lighting right. There we go. We'll take it there from there. So we are in the kitchen. Vile is here. Vile, like, hang over here so that they can see you. So what we are doing, hey, Roseanne, thank you for being here. So we are actually shooting the Christmas segment at this moment for the Channel 8 show. We have to have them edited and ready to go by Monday. And so we have had this scheduled for weeks to shoot. And I realized, hey, Tom, how are you? <laughs> nice to have you here, even though Heather is not. Um, so we've had this scheduled and I realized we usually start at one o'clock and we usually only have one segment to do, but because of all the taping that's being done for the holidays, um, we have two segments that we're shooting today. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes. Hey mom, how are you? And who else? Um, oh, Arlene is here. Hey Arlene, nice to have you here. Um, happy to see you. So what I'm saying is that Basically, you are going to be behind the scenes watching us actually shoot the Christmas segment for Channel 8. So, hi, she's saying hi. So, let me finish getting this stuff. Maybe you just want to turn this while I'm getting the stuff out of the sure. fridge. So, Vile usually shoots camera, but, uh, oh, good, sending hearts. So, here we go into the fridge. Hi. Okay. And getting the rest of this out. So, basically, what I'm making is a Christmas tree. Made out, made for Anapasto. Okay, well, I'm back. There we go. Hello. Um, and uh, it's going to be very yeah. fun. Let me show you the picture off my iPad because I have to follow this. And I thought this makes a really great Anapasto for if, you know, you're sitting home all day watching games or if you are having family. Some people are, some people aren't. But let me show you this picture. It's fabulous. I made this one year. Where are the pictures? Okay, here we go. Oh, well, let me show you this picture first. How cute is this? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did I? Uh-oh, it popped. There we go. Look at those little ones. Oh, there we go. How cute is that? Oh, how cute is that? So my little granddaughter turned six yesterday and this little guy, my grandson, turned one today. So they were born one day apart and they're celebrating birthdays in California right now. Look at that. Is that the cutest? I know, adorable, right Arlene? Oh, so adorable. And Tom, Tom is on as me. My husband is, is in my oh, account hi. as me right now. Hi Randy Marvin, these are my grandchildren turned six yesterday and he's turning one today. Isn't that so adorable? Okay, let me show you what I'm making. So what I just said, for those of you who are just joining us, what I said is that we are right now shooting the Channel 8 segment, Christmas segment. And so, um, yep, there's Vile right over there. And I had a choice of not going live at all with you guys today, which I would never do. I would never stand you up. Um, or just letting you watch the back end of scene one, take two, and how we do the back end of those Channel 8 segments. So I decided to do that for you. But do you see this really great little Christmas tree shaped anapasto? And so that's what we're gonna make right now. So, so I, cute. So cute. So I just wanted to get you in on um, all the fun. I'm gonna have to layer this right here in front of me so I can use it as my cheat sheet, right? Yep, I got it right here. Okay, so I've got just about everything ready to go. And I will talk all of you through um, what I'm gonna do. Are you able to get keep that out of the shot? So yeah. for those of you who are just joining us, hey, Laura McNeese, so happy to see you here. We are actually shooting the Channel 8 Christmas segment right now. And I had a choice to either stand you up and not show up today. Usually we only shoot one show on a Friday. So we start at one and we are done. Is the mic on? Um, I can't see it. I think it has to go under your sweater. Yeah, Sorry. she's always going down my <laughs> pants to see if the mic Sorry. is on. No. <laughs> and either to stand you up or, because um, we usually only shoot one segment. So we start at one, we're done by 2.30 
very close to three, so I haven't had a problem being with all of you, but we had to shoot two taped segments today so that we could um, give them to them by Monday, which is what they're requiring out of us. So I could have either stood you up at three o'clock today or just let you come in from behind the scenes and watch us actually shoot a segment. So I'm gonna be turning my back to you. Um, but hey, does this top make me look flat, fat? <laughs> no, it's I mean, the style of it. It has a big sleeve. Okay, it's all right. Ways. Let me pull it down. I don't want to look fat on camera. Okay. Um, oh, hey, Debbie. Nice to have you here. There you go. Oh, somebody said thumbs up. I do look fat, or thumbs up. I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, and Debbie Hall is here from Cancun. Nice to have you guys. So many people uh, chiming in. So. Um, Again, we are shooting the Channel 8 segment. I could have either stood you up or keep on going, and I would never stand you up. So you get to see the back end of us shooting this segment. So there we go. Now, that the iPad is not going to be in the shot? No. Okay. All right. So let me get this down. Let me open up all these containers. So we are going to use these um, handy-dandy little items. Move yeah, move it. Let me show everybody one more time because new people have tuned in. So, and I'll hand it to you. So, what we're doing for the uh, Christmas segment is this Anapasto shaped Christmas tree. Doesn't that look fabulous? How fun is that? So, that's what we're going to be doing. And I am going to use this as my guide. Um, and I'll have to cut a star out of cheese, of which I have no cutter for that. But I have to open up all these containers to do this. And then we will start the segments. And you'll watch us do scene one, take one, take two. Um, you'll watch us do all kinds of things here. We haven't gone through the scenes yet. We have not gone through the scenes yet because we just finished the, um, the, second se the first segment. Um, so the first segment is the open. Mm -hmm. Um, segment two is, let me show you how to do this, basically. And I think I'm just going to start, yeah, I'm just going to start building it from scratch. Okay. Um, start so open, you're just going to just say, yeah. say what you're making and then we'll make yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. Very easy. Here, do you want to open these for me? Yeah. Okay. And I've actually got some turkey. And, oh my gosh, if you guys could smell how fabulous this is. Hey, Heather, how are you? Glad to have you here. Heather and Debbie are joining us from Cancun every day. I love that. Wow. Heather's my sister. And so, hello, hello. Um, I'm going to let you open that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to get out the turkey. Put this out of the shot. And we're getting ready to start. Okay. Let me get the turkey and the... What did I do with the turkey? Right here. Did I pull it out? Yeah, oh. you pulled it out already. <laughs> You're watching me lose my mind. Okay. So let me get a plate. And maybe... There we go. I know you're so used to me talking all the time through everything that I do, but right now I'm just kind of concentrating yeah. on everything that I'm doing. I think I'm not going to use those. Yeah, oh. I think I'm not going to use those. Okay. So there you go. A lot. It's a really good shot, right? Now. Yeah, it is a good shot, right? So we'll open up on this and just get the turkey out. There we go. All right, I am ready when you are, and are you ready? Stand by, here we go. Scene one, take one in, you ready? Yeah. Are we all good? Where should I come in from? I've been popping in and jumping in, do you think because it's, no, you know? No, let's, let's do this and out. Okay. How we used to do with the chat. Oh, oh a Chapman. Chapman logo. A Chapman logo. Um, so under you you. One? Yeah. So our sponsor is Chapman Automotive, and so we, we have a lot of fun with Chapman because we put them everywhere. 
and I need um, I also need these breadsticks. So if you stand by and watch, you're gonna actually see a Christmas tree come about. And oh, here, yep, and we've got the rosemary. Okay. Do you have it? Okay. You just lay it on here. Okay. All right. Let me open up the breadsticks so they're easy to grab. Not so easy to open. Okay. Stand by, everybody. We're about to um, make this tree. Yeah. I'm just going to pull out these breadsticks. Oh, they are so cute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we'll just keep building it, and you'll just be able to edit in between. In fact, I think you're just going to hear me say in between each item that I'm building with, Mm -hmm. um, and here's the this and here's the that. Okay. And this segment probably will be about two minutes. Okay. Right? Perfect. Okay. All right. Ready? Scene one, take one. Stand by, everybody. Scene one, who else is talking? Oh, Tom Gallagher is hungry, he says. I know, I'm getting hungry too. Scene one, take one in three, two, one. Happy holidays, everybody. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. So happy that this year is coming to an end, as I'm sure that you all are. And here we are back in Annie Bubby's kitchen. And the first thing I want to do is what I always do is I want to thank Chapman for hanging in there all year with us and continuing to bring Nanny Bubby segments right here on Channel 8 to everybody. We really appreciate their support and everything they do for our community. So thank you so much to Chapman. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to make a Christmas tree shaped anapasto, which is so fun that you can put out early in the morning if you have family coming over. I'm not sure if you do or if you don't. It's very different this year. But even for everybody that just lives in your own household, when you put this out for your family, it can just sit, doesn't necessarily, it's cold outside, so you don't have to worry too much about it. And you can just snick and snack on it all day long. So if you're ready, here we go. How is that? You need to take two? Yeah. Okay. Also two, let's put the apron underneath your uh, necklace on the right side. Here, let me show you. See how your apron is um, on the right? It's covering your necklace. On the right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Under my neck? Yes. Just put it underneath. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Just All like... right. Okay. Ready? You'll see. Oh, oh so yeah. Like okay. Distracted. So does it look better now? Yeah. Okay. So usually I don't dress up like this for the segments, but because it's supposed to be Christmas by the time this airs, uh, hey Brenda, so nice to have you here. And Gary Wilson. Oh Gary, you're very new. I don't think I've seen you here before, but thank you for being here. So happy to have you here. Okay. So this is scene two. We're shooting the live segments or the, you know, the segments that are going to be taped for Christmas for Channel 8. We usually tape one every other week, but because of the holidays, we've had to, to tape two today. And as a result, we're running over into your time, and I either had the choice of standing you up or letting you see the behind the scenes. So stand by. Scene one, open, take two. I can't remember what I said. <laughs> so scene one, I'm, I'm so busy talking to them and I forget who, that I'm talking to somebody over here. Okay, ready? Scene one, take two. Happy holidays, everybody. So happy that you've joined us. So happy that I can show my gratitude for our fabulous sponsor, Chapman, who has been with us all throughout this crazy year. So grateful for everybody in the studio and everybody at Channel 8. And here we are, it's finally towards the end of the years and it's a holiday that we can all appreciate. And what I'm gonna show you today is an antipasto platter that is in the shape of a Christmas tree. I think you're gonna love it. You can keep it out all day and just snick and snack on it. So here we go. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let me just make sure the audio is good. Did you like that? Two. Hey, Art Shrek. So Thanks for joining us. Playing it back. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So if you're ready, we're gonna start building uh, the recipe right now. Okay, All right. we've got our Chapman sponsor right there and we're gonna start uh, scene two, take one. So normally I do a lot of talking, but this really is a lot of just building. And so this will take the segment down to about, um, who else? Oh, Bob Barnes, boy, I got a lot of men watching. That's fabulous, thanks for being here. Are you guys cooks at home? Let me know, give me a thumbs up if you guys are cooks at home, if you cook for your family. Okay, scene two, take one, in three, two, one. So this is how we start. We're gonna first start with some pepperoni layered on top of itself, right at the very top. And then we're going to add these little, whatever these are called, I have to do this again. Um, okay, so it'll be take two. I don't know what they're called. Do you know where the tops are? Yeah. Because okay. I need a slotted spoon to, not, to not take it out. Black. Oh, are they these olives? Oh, I gotta say that. Oh, no, uh-uh. They're not olives. Oh, red Peruvian pearl peppers. Red Peruvian pearl peppers, okay. <laughs> yeah, say that five, okay. five times fast. Okay. Okay. So for those of you just joining us, I am do a TV segment on the CBS affiliate. We had to shoot two today, so we ran over. And so you are behind the scenes watching us shoot this TV segment because I didn't want to stand you up, but I still have a segment to do here. So here we go. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I turn around when you start building it because it's backwards. Or no, you're okay with it staying this way uh, while you build. You want to come over my shoulder to do it? What do you think? Yeah, come on. So, no, I'm going to start. Oh, I guess that's a long one. Okay. You want to come this way? That's okay. I'm going to stay on this side. Okay. There you go. Here's something we've never done before. Okay. Oh, but the iPad's in it. Yeah. Well, I'll turn it around. What do okay. You what do no, you know? Let's, let's leave it as is, and then you'll turn it around. Yeah, I'll turn at it the around. end, when it's yeah. done, mm -hmm. then you can just show the final product okay. while you're building it. Won't matter. Okay. okay so, yeah. scene two, take two. In three, two. So, here we go. We're just going to build it and show you what it looks like when we're done. So, we're going to start up at the top with some pepperoni layered. About three four of them layer close to each other. Then we're gonna take these red Peruvian peppers and pile them on. Now what you wanna do is make sure that you go out just a little bit wide because as it builds, it's supposed to look like a Christmas tree. So what you want is you wanna keep going a little bit wider as you go. Next, we're gonna add green olives because that will add some beautiful color. Add some green. Green is beautiful for everything. And again, just out just a little bit. Here we go, like that. Squish it in. It starts moving a little bit as you, you know, as you do it, but with every new layer that you add, it gets just a little bit stronger and things tend to stay in place. Okay, there we go. Squish that in there. There we go. Next, we're gonna add some rolled up turkey. So watch this. We're gonna grab this sliced turkey here, kind of falling apart. But we're gonna roll this like this. Just put it out a little bit. There we go. And then right next to that, we're gonna lay these little dill gherkins, I think, right between. I think they're called gherkins. That's what we always called them. Lay them out. It helps bring out the color of the turkey. There we go. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is the cheese. And this looks so, we're gonna add colored cheese because the turkey itself was absent of color. And we're just gonna 
layer this up. This is getting to be a really wide Christmas tree already. You've got to bring it in just a little bit, and it's okay if you make a few mistakes along the way because you can always adjust. There we go. There we go. Just bring that in a little bit. I'm just going to throw these on, just layer them right on top of everything. There we go. And after that comes some great black olives. So here we go with that. Let's use these. These look bigger and crustier. There we go. And from here, we're gonna add some really good looking red salami. It's really nice. We'll layer that down. And again, just throw this on top of itself and let's just peel off all this salami. And what you can do is literally just lay it. Just squeeze it up under there like this. Look at that, look how great that looks. Some more, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna add the roast beef, which is nice and rare, and actually not that. We're gonna do the white cheese is best. Now I put a layer of um, parchment paper on the wood because I think it looks festive and it looks a little bit fancy. Um, at the same time, at least the meats and the cheeses are not seeping in the wood on the breadboard, and so it makes it just a little bit better. There we go, just like that. I think I've got some more white cheese that we're gonna add to it right there. Okay, now you can add bell peppers down here at the bottom. You could add cucumbers down here at the bottom. You can add anything that you might have left over you know, from the days of cooking and eating as you let up to the holidays that you can put on the antipasto platter, which is awesome. There we go. We're going to add um, the actual roast beef, just layered right down at the bottom. Look how amazing that looks. How fun is that? All the way done as it comes out. Just We'll bring that in just a little bit. Bring this in just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you're designing as you go. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. And then to the bottom, we are going to, what should we do? How about the Kalamata olives? We'll just do a layer of those which will finish it off. It'll have a nice straight edge at the bottom. There we go. And then we're gonna take these breadsticks and stick them right up underneath here. How do you like that? How fun is that? right up under there. Let that be the stem. So therefore the olives sit very nicely on that. Then we're gonna take a little bit of the, look at this, tell me this doesn't look so cool. Watch this, we're just gonna take this, stick that right in there. These are just some little rosemary branches that, oh, it smells heavenly, that came right out of the garden, anybody's garden, and we're gonna just stick a little bit right here, how do you like that? And a little bit right over here. Let me just snap that off. Right here. A little bit here. And a little bit here. And then I think what we're gonna do is just take two of these and just put them right up under here. Stick them right down. How does that look? And now, let me just turn this around and show you how we ended. 
And there we go. I think we could use a little branch right in here and a little bit right here. Did we do that all in one take? Yeah. Oh my God, we did that all in one take. How great, how great is so that? Great. So for those of you who just joined us, hey Sue, hey Colette, so nice to have you guys here. So I shoot my Channel 8 segments on Friday. We do them live sometimes or we do them taped. But because of the holidays, we had to do two segments today. We start at one o'clock. Normally I'm done by three o'clock so I can be with all of you. But because we had to do two, by the time we hit three o'clock, we were just starting the second segment, which is this. But anyway, I didn't want to stand you guys up because what would you think of me if I stood you up? <laughs> so you guys are here behind the scenes watching V-Lay. Say hi, V-Lay, let me hi. turn you. I can't believe, there she is. <laughs> hi, everybody. Um, so you guys are able to watch like the back end of what we were doing here. This is going to air, I think, on Christmas Day or the day before, maybe Christmas Eve. But there you go. That's it. It really turned out so cute. Did you guys see it? Yeah, you got to show it to me. Yeah. Whoops. Oh. Oops. I've got rolling olives here. So, you know, I'll tell you what's great about this. Oh, my gosh. Can you kind of bend that mm -hmm. camera for me? Look at that. No, you can't. You gotta pick. You gotta bend it with the stand. There you go. And down, down. Nope. Keep coming down. I know it's backwards. That's why. There you go. I have that same trouble. Okay. Can you guys see that? I don't know. Maybe the best thing to do is this. Colette said it looks amazing. I know. She said that a minute ago. She's the best. She's the absolute best. Okay. Let me just take this, and let me just kind of bring this around. Oh. Whoop. Oh my gosh. Give me some thumbs up if you guys can see that because this is none, none so easy to do right now with this camera. There we go. Thumbs up. There we yeah. go. Lots of thumbs up. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do next. We have to shoot what's called the close mm -hmm. where I say this pairs nicely with. So let me, there we go. So I'm going to do that, which is, I cannot believe we did this whole thing in uh, one take, which we did. And I knew a uh, yum is right. I know, I'm so hungry, Colette. Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, just bring this all over here. I'll yeah. Put the covers back on. Yeah, covers back on. So we clean up. Then I will grab a glass of red wine and say this pairs nicely with. And I'm gonna go over here and get my this cute little Michael Arrow dish, which is over here. And I'm gonna give this a rinse really quickly. Because it's sitting out all the time, okay. And I'm gonna fill this with, here's another little tree limb. So cute, right, with a little rosemary. love that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put brown mustard into the Michael Aram bowl, and um, I'm going to grab a glass of red wine, which I used in the segment previously, so it's already open and ready to roll. And, uh, and then I'm going to say, and this pairs nicely with, so, and I used a baguette, and yet I'm going to use a baguette for this too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got double duty on the baguette and the wine here, guys cheating from one segment to the other. Okay, here's this. I'll give you that. Let me grab the mustard and the baguette over here. So I'm gonna take this brown mustard and just put it in the bowl because it's got nice it's coarse ground mustard, whole grain Dijon mustard, and it's very colorful. Let me show that to you. Do you see how colorful and beautiful that is? Oh my gosh. 
is the red your cherry tomatoes? No, they're actually Peruvian um, peppers is what mm -hmm. they are. They're, they're baby Peruvian peppers. Okay, so what I do is I scan. I'm gonna end up putting my back to you guys because, um, and Dry Farm Wines, yes, it is Dry Farm Wines, Colette. In fact, do you see that logo? Wait a minute, let me get this in the shot. Sorry, you see that? That's the Dry Farm Wine logo. You see that? Oh, I just turned you guys around. You're back, okay. <laughs> there you go, that's Dry Farm Wine's logo. So, okay. Okay, so let me grab the baguette. I'll have to turn this around, right? Do you know how long uh, segment scene two went? Let me show you. Or I meant, let me check. Well, it's a minute, but it's a minute. lot of time lapse. In, okay, you know. all right. So we only have five. I guess, you know, if they're planning on a five minute segment and we come in with a two minute segment, they're gonna kill us. So we better try to make it 4.30, 4.45. Okay. I think with open and closing, we'll make it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll okay. be good. That all right. So we will put this right here, and the baguette, and the, and the wine. Let's strain that chop in really quick. Okay, scene three. I'm gonna put them in tight and then out. Okay, scene three, take, okay, stand by everybody. <laughs> scene three, take one in three, two, Whoops, oh, again. Yeah. Scene three, take two. In three, two. Happy holidays, everybody. Look at this delectable little antipasto platter. This pairs nicely with, okay. I, I bit my tongue. <laughs> no, I bit my can. tongue. <laughs> okay, in scene three, take three. In three, two. Happy holidays, everybody. Look at this delectable little antipasto Christmas tree that you can serve any time during the holiday season, but especially on Christmas morning or the night before on Christmas Eve. This pairs so nicely with a glass of red Italian wine, a baguette sliced up beautifully so you can capture all these wonderful flavors and some whole ground coarse brown mustard. How's that? Tell me that's not spreading love like butter. I feel like it is. Happy holidays, everybody, to a wonderful and fruitful, abundant and healthy new year. Do we do it again? No, I think it's good. That's it. We're done. Beauty shot. Hey. Hey, Norbert Breslin. How are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> thank you, Colette. I, th I thank you very much. So do you have any questions, you guys? Just because we're here and uh, I don't even know what time it is. Am I here usually this long? I can't see the clock. It's 3.35. So I'm usually here for about 35 to 40 minutes. So thank you for the thumbs up. Anybody have any questions that you want to ask that I can answer? I love that you're here every day. I do have a couple of announcements, though. Oh, let's see. Uh, L'chaim. L'chaim to you, too, Colette. There you go. Mm. Great job, thank you. Okay, so I do have an announcement. Usually I never come on a Saturday. I usually take Saturday off, but I'm here Sunday through Friday. I take Saturday off. But I am going to be here tomorrow, and Roseanne, I hope you hear this, she challenged me to make eggplant parmesan, and I'm going to make that tomorrow. Um, thank you, Tom, have a great evening to you as well. The reason I'm not gonna be here on Sunday is we had a family member pass away and the memorial service is on Sunday. And they've asked me to speak and say a few words, even though it's in New York City. The only thing that's come about in these days that is an advantage to how we are all living right now is the entire thing is going to be on Zoom and I'm going to be speaking on Zoom and it starts at three o'clock. So I am not going to be with you on Sunday, but I am going to come tomorrow 
I got eggplants delivered from Melissa Foods along with the artichokes that we did yesterday. And so I, um, I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'll be making eggplant Parmesan. Hey, Gary Morgan, or Guy Morgan, so nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. So many of you join us. We've had about 25 people come in and come out. Um, so anyway, if you are excited that the holidays are here, type a one. If you are excited that the year is coming to an end, this crazy year that feels like a, a sci-fi thriller, um, type a two and just let me know how you're feeling right now because, oh my gosh, um, it, uh, uh, it's been just the craziest year, hasn't it? It's There you go, Brenda. Give me a one. Somebody give me a two for let's get the year over with. But I will tell you this. I think so many of us have found ways to live happily and healthily and we found ways to uh, be there for each other in ways that we never imagined and i really think that's what it's all about and when i say spread love like butter i think that's what i've seen so many of you all doing you've all been spreading love like butter you become makers at home you're uh, needle pointing you're doing all kinds of things from home you're cooking, you're, um, you're sewing maybe for the first time in so long, you're doing so many wonderful things. And these are times where we all pull back and remember what's important to all of us. So um, a happy and healthy new year to everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Roseanne, you challenged me to make eggplant Parmesan. Mm -hmm. You can find the recipe on nannybubby.com. Uh, under, I think it's under main courses because it certainly is a main course the way I make it and you are going to love every minute of it. it. It's the best. So mwah, go forth and spread love like butter. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.